So now that it looks like the crypto winter is starting to thaw because negative energy like this is starting to clear out, I wanted to talk about what we might expect over the next six to 12 months based on what I've seen in previous cryptocurrency market cycles. These are like receipts from when I bought my first Bitcoin in 2013. So I would say we're at the end of the fourth stage of the cryptocurrency cycle. This stage usually involves just a purging of all the negative energy that has brought about the previous collapse is too strong of a word, but the big market downturn that we semi recently went through. 2014, almost four cycles ago, this happened with a centralized cryptocurrency exchange called Mt. Gox. It's super similar, almost identical really to what happened with FTX. The difference is that with each cryptocurrency cycle, more and more people from the mainstream get involved in the cryptocurrency sector. So more and more people are aware of what's happening when bad actors fuck stuff up. So we're nearing the end of that stage. After that stage, a new cryptocurrency cycle starts, but we're waiting for a catalyzing event. Historically, the Bitcoin happening has always functioned as a catalyzing event. I'm calling it a happening, which people used to say more a few years ago. I think happening is more fun to say, but you'll also hear people say having. As you can see, this is expected in April of next year. The last happening was on May 11th of 2020. And so what we've seen historically is that typically like eight-ish months after a happening happens, then we start to see the market really go crazy as reflected in this Bitcoin graph here. So I'm going to call that stage two when we start to see fervor and new all-time highs and things really start to go crazy. Then we'll typically see a stage at which things just reach this fever pitch and people that hated cryptocurrency are feeling like, oh, I need to pay attention to it, whatever. And more bad actors enter the space and try and take advantage of that moment. Some of y'all may remember Safe Moon from the previous cycle, the unsafest name imaginable for a cryptocurrency. That founder is in jail. So that's a good example, I would say, of both this purging that I was talking about earlier and the stage we're in now where that negative energy is being released. But Safe Moon appeared during the last fever pitch stage of the crypto cycle. And we get a lot of that each time around. There'll be these newer projects trying to take advantage that are questionable. And then when things collapse, they tend to go away because that energy has to be cleared out again for the cycle to repeat. Which brings me to the next stage, which is that after we've reached that fever pitch, then something will falter. And it's invariably these not great cryptocurrency projects. Last cryptocurrency cycle, I would say that it was the failure of Terra Luna that was the first major event that made the market start to falter. I mean, that project had been around for a bit, but it was an example of a not great quality project that was really being super hyped by a founder who is now like on the run in Bali, I think. <laughs> like the authorities are trying to track him down. So he's like the last piece of that negative energy, as far as I can tell, that needs to be cleared out this cycle. But obviously the big failure this past cycle was again what happened with FTX and Sam Bankman Freed. And that was kind of crazy because it was in the news so much for so long and in like mainstream publications like the New York Times and whatever. And something like that is really damaging, obviously, because it, it creates a lot of mistrust among people who are less familiar with the sector. But the good news is every cycle I've seen so far helps you get a better sense of what the good quality projects are because they're still around. And then later, when we see that catalyzing event and the next cycle kicks off, like we can presume might happen after April of next year, you can be ready.